Welcome to Medical Montana. We're here at Helena ENT visiting with Dr. Pargett. And Dr. Pargett, sometimes if a person has chronic sinusitis, you have to do a CT in order to find out what the root of the problem is. A CAT scan is a specialized x-ray. Doesn't take very long to do, typically 15 minutes or so. People don't have needles, they don't have to have dye, but it's a specialized picture that allows us to see the internal structure of the nose and the detail of the sinuses. I have a CAT scan here we could discuss. This is an example of someone who has healthy sinuses. There's the wall here, which is the septum. These structures that I'm pointing to are called the turbinates. They help to warm and moisturize the air. Here are the eye sockets, and here are the sinuses. They're called paranasal sinuses because they live next to the nose. Here are the cheek sinuses. These are called the maxillary sinuses. Here are the sinuses between the eyes, which are called the ethmoid sinuses. And there are also sinuses in your forehead and sinuses further back in the middle of the head. But these are the sinuses that I show you here that are the ones most commonly affected by chronic sinusitis. Here is a healthy person. Here is this arrow points to the normal drainage area of the sinuses. And if you see this picture here, these sinuses are all black. On these pictures, black is air. And we want our sinuses to be completely filled with air because if there's any fluid or infection in the sinuses, that's what leads to the pain and the pressure. And on a picture like this, it shows uh, up as gray. And so we want to see sinuses that are filled with air and we want to see that this passageway is open and clear. But unfortunately, not all people have this kind of normal x-ray. I'd like to show you a picture of a deviated septum, Great. if that's okay. Yes. Now here's a CAT scan of someone with a deviated septum. Here are the eye sockets like we talked about before. Here are the cheek sinuses. Look at that wall. Look how far over that is deviated to one side. And that is going to block their sinuses from draining effectively. This is going to cause stuffiness and congestion. This can lead to sinus disease. And this is why people end up in my office. And if you start to have symptoms or are having symptoms of stuffiness and congestion, go to my website at HelenaENT.com and there's a sinus symptom survey that you can take and see if you might be someone who needs to have a CAT scan of the sinuses. Okay, so that's the first step. Right. All right, very good. Thank you, Dr. Pargett. Thank you.